You expect the sun to rise tomorrow because it has always done so in the past. This reliance on past patterns is the foundation of scientific inquiry. However, there's no guarantee that the laws governing the universe will remain constant. Science operates on the assumption that they will, but this is ultimately a leap of faith. You cannot definitively prove that these laws will continue to hold true in the future, so you have faith in something that hasn't betrayed you, and that's science. In the 18th century, David Hume identified a fundamental problem with inductive reasoning. He pointed out that using induction requires assuming the consistency of natural laws over time. However, attempting to justify induction with induction itself creates a circular argument. The challenge lies in proving that future events will mirror past patterns without relying on past observations. Any attempt to do so inevitably uses inductive reasoning, resulting in a logical circle. This self-referential nature of inductive justification undermines its validity as a standalone proof. Philosophers have proposed various solutions to the problem of induction, but none have gained universal acceptance. Karl Popper's falsification suggested that science does not rely on induction, but rather on falsification, where hypotheses are rigorously tested and potentially disproven rather than confirmed through repeated observations. Thinkers like John Maynard Keynes have argued for a probabilistic interpretation of induction, suggesting that inductive arguments can affirm probabilities rather than certainties. Even Hume himself hinted at a naturalistic explanation, positing that humans are instinctively inclined to make inductive inferences, which, while not rationally justified, are a fundamental part of human cognition. Hume's problem of induction casts doubt on the fundamental assumptions of science. Not only can we not definitively prove that our experiences accurately reflect the external world, but the very existence of this external world, independent of our perception, is itself questionable. Thanks for watching and hopefully I will see you in the next one.